What's up guys? We got an awesome episode for y'all this week. We are headed to North Georgia bear hunting with dogs. Yes, you heard me right. Bear hunting with dogs in North Georgia. Guys, this was a super special hunt for me. Um, it's something I've always wanted to kill a bear. I've been a couple times, but just kind of, you know, public land, doing it myself, not really knowing where to go, what to do. Um, never even seen a bear in the woods. And I really wanted my first bear to be from North Georgia. So when the opportunity came along for this, um, first I was shocked because I didn't even know it really existed until I put in for a point this year and I saw it on the, on the ballot and I was like, what, what is that? And I was put in for it anyway. But my buddy David Morris drew an actual tag this year. Well, when he draws a tag, he's able to bring a couple other people with him and I was one of the guys that was chosen. He called me up and he's like, hey dude, uh, would you like to go bear hunting in North Georgia on me? And I was like, what? Uh, heck yeah. And I was like, what's the deal? And he said, well, it's a dog hunt. And guys, this was, to me, this was like the um, golden ticket to say. Like, I felt like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, you know? I mean, I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Yes, 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 I'm in. So now we were like, well, what do we do? Where, where do we go? How do you find a dog that'll run a bear? So we did some digging around and we met a group of guys from north carolina that are houndsmen which means that they have special bear dogs and these guys man they were phenomenal i could not have asked a better group of guys to go with these guys rolled out the red carpet they put bear camp up for us they did everything they rolled out the red carpet literally and on top of that these were the most down-to-earth christian group of guys that you would ever meet in your life i mean just it gives me chills right now just thinking about it so guys you know who you are thank you so much for an incredible time uh, y'all the weather was terrible i'm talking about it started raining on sunday and it didn't stop raining until the next sunday and you only have one week to get this done so we tried to time it and kind of intermittent rain on and off had to set camp up in the rain it was a muddy mess um mud everywhere uh, the cook tents, the, the the our tents, everything was just a mess. You, you know, if you've ever camped in the rain, it's absolutely dreadful. And that's kind of what happened here. So, long story short, uh, we got a break in the weather one day. And David and I were able to get together and go the same day. And we both were able to kill our first bears ever in the same day, which is crazy to think about that. But, guys, the population of bears in North Georgia is, well... After this hunt, I would say it's ridiculous because just in the course of four or five hours, we probably struck six to eight different bears for sure that we could have chased. Now, we only ran the ones we did, and we treated or bayed them up, and David and I would be able to take them. But, guys, the Department of Natural Resources put this hunt on because of the deer population in North Georgia apparently is declining terribly bad, and the bears have a huge impact on that. Um, as well as the coyotes and other predators. Um, I'm a huge turkey hunter, so anytime I can take out a predator, I'm good. Do you consider a bear a predator? I don't know, but I have seen a lot of trail camera pictures with bears with fawns in their mouths. And if you go to North Georgia and deer hunt, you really don't see that many deer, if any. And so I don't know if it has an impact on that or not, but the DNR think it does. And this was a way that they could control a higher number of bears coming out of the mountains is by running them with dogs. So we were blessed to be able to do this hunt. And I'm so glad to share it with the guys I did. I hope y'all enjoy this hunt. It's going to be crazy. I did the best I could capturing it with the weather. It was absolutely terrible, like I said. Um, David even dropped the camera down the mountain when we were headed into my bear and broke the mic on it. So we have to uh, kind of cut in a little bit here and there. And hopefully you guys can understand what I'm saying because a lot of the audio did get cut out. You guys enjoy this. It's going to be awesome. Holy cow. Welcome to bear camp. Came in late last night and uh, got into camp late. Couldn't film anything because it was too dark. But uh, boys, we are in North Georgia in bear camp with the dogs that have just struck literally 100 yards north of camp. Thought I heard a bear last night. They seem pretty convinced. Right? What's the deal here? Oh, <laughs> 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 
just walked out of camp driving up this road headed to the top of the mountain the dog struck now what we do here we're gonna explain this a lot later but what we'll do is get the dogs and uh just ride them in the box and just ease down these roads and the bears cross these roads all the time so they're just catching for catching a wind or something and like right now we got a we got a wind i guess we're thinking up on top of this mountain here which is i know you can't tell how high it is but it's, it's up here so seth has got another dog and he took off up there to cut his track. But they definitely, obviously caught wind of a bear. And uh, we'll turn him out here, I guess, in a minute. This is my first rodeo, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna get my orange vest on and uh, I got the bow. I'm here with my best friend, David Morris. He's got his 30-30. Uh, We're gonna try to put one up a tree. Bear number two. How long we been hunting, right? 15 Send Seth back in again. So the, fir the first bear we, we struck, <clears throat> Seth cut his track and he's guessing to be about a 100 pound bear. So we'd like it to put the dogs back in the truck and just keep riding, see if we can strike another one up. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing now. There's an old campsite right here and it looks like the way this draw sets up, it looks like this bear came right through this draw. Big bear, don't want to climb straight up, staying in the saddle. So he's going up there to cut this track again. Trying to find out what size bear we're dealing with. We're, uh, I'd say we're two or three miles up in here now, at least from camp. David and I riding in the truck and we found a big food plot and we were sitting there talking about strutting turkeys and the dogs just That's a good sound to hear, I'm gonna tell you because they do not strike unless they actually win the bear. So, I had to get away from the truck a little bit so you guys can hear me. Um, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, Seth is like a goat. You guys can't tell, but that's up. And I mean up. I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs> I started off to go after Seth and just follow him so I could see what the track looked like. And I was like, no. Nope. <laughs> he took off up there pretty quick. Oh, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> so he'll run up there and cut this track. Try to find out what, how big. Yeah, he's going to let, with. let her put him on the track there and he's going to see how big it is. Just trying to find a pretty good buyer to run this morning. <clears throat>
back home you ain't got this problem. If you find a bar track, you turn on it. There's more bar down here, so we try to find a bigger track. Yeah, it'd be, be a lot pickier. Yeah. <clears throat> back home, you, you cut him, you better, you know, yeah. and you in him all day <laughs> back home, right? That's it. Yeah. yeah. It's an all day ordeal. Yeah, and you turn your dogs loose back home, you're in it. <laughs> Yeah, Lee. Put the radio down and video that. Yeah, they need to get set. Hey, Mr. Time Drive, ran these cars to try and keep traffic off of them. There's a woman about hit the buyer. Golly. Boy, we messed out on that, didn't we? So the other group has a bear that they bait up in the highway, the public highway. <laughs> All right, here we go, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Absolutely mind blown at how many bears there are up here. I mean, we killed the bear. Driving to a waterfall to take pictures with it, strike another bear, smaller tracks, got off of that, just left the waterfall, just struck another bear. I mean, it's everywhere we go. It's like an all you can eat bear buffet around here. So, yeah, we're about to check this track and see how big this bear is. And if it's a big one, then we're going to turn the dogs loose and go again. Oh, he done got his shirt off. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, Everything's wet. Here we go. Sure. <laughs> hey, now we're going to get some views on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, now we got it. <laughs> now fixing to cross that Dover Creek right there. That little indicator, that bark made, that means they're barking pretty good. It just updated that both of them we turned loose is up there. How far are they? They're 442 yards. Straight down. Straight down that side, yep. Crossing that creek. All right, we got him free. That's the one we just turned loose a minute ago. And uh, two guys just dropped down in there and took a look at him. He's a pretty good bear, so I got the bow and we're about to go in after. Y'all ready to roll? Yes, sir. Right, ready when you are. That's fine. We'll wait and shoot it if we can. Alright boys, what we got? Good girl, we ain't Monkey up in the tree. A lot of hiking, but we're here. We got it. And we got a big enough here. Kill him in the boat. Reason being, when 
when I draw back and the air is coming off the rest. So I start. Ready, man? Man, I, I, I can't thank y'all enough, first of all, yeah. for all the hard work that goes into everything. I'm talking about from when we pulled into camp last night, in the pouring down rain, everything is soft and wet, but neat and orderly. And I mean, and you guys are some of the nicest guys we've ever met in our life. Absolutely. And I can't thank y'all enough from the bottom of my heart. Coming all the way down from North Carolina to do what y'all love. And it's obvious y'all love yes, what sir. you do. Yeah. You got to. So, I can't. Yeah. Uh, I mean, now we we got we got to go back up here, guys. It's fair, and I'm not exaggerating. Yes. It is right there, and uh, you know, most thankful to God yeah. for allowing us to be here and what He created. Amen. You know, and uh, I like to say a prayer if you don't mind. Amen. Let's have water dryer do it. Father, Lord, as we bow our head before you today, God, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, God. Thank you for your creation. Lord, thank you for blessing Jay with this fire today, God, the dog, the friendship, the fellowship. Lord, we thank you most of all, God, for your Son, Jesus Christ, and Him dying for us on the cross, Lord, and saving our soul. God, you've been so good to us, Lord. For that, we just can't thank you enough. Lord, we love you and ask you all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank y'all. Congratulations. I feel, I, feel like I, got, I feel like I got a whole new brotherhood here. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, hey man. Like that, buddy. David, you'll, you'll tag. I wouldn't be here without you either. Praise I God, David. I wouldn't give anybody but you a Tyson, man. Yeah. I hope, I hope we get Tyson up here tomorrow and get him, get him a repeat. Hey, man. All right, all packed out. Skint, done. Got him done, boys. Whoa. Got <laughs> that rock come up, right, up. That rock come right by your head. And uh, I, have a again. I have a memory. I had my outdoor edge knife. The blade popped off, flipped around backwards when I was cutting the tail of the bear, right into my two veins between my thumb and my pointer finger, trigger finger. So we, we got a pretty dang young tight on there. I can tell you that. I was I was bleeding like a stuck pig there for a minute. And a lot of the bears already going up. She's going up. We got a long way out of here. Straight up. Packing out. Cape, head, back straps. Baby's got front shoulders. Definitely not easy walking. Praying that this flat part that we're on right now gets to back to the road up here we don't know but we're going somewhat in the right direction we'll see <laughs> Woo! we're down back up we're, we're up that that movie camera laying on the bank yes sir strike us one boy we're going to bark we, we're smelling <laughs> What a trip. Unreal. No other words for it. Nah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we got to go check these bears in. Might need to make a quick trip. There they are. There's the real help. <laughs> Let me see. Let me, I just want to. How cool is that? So there's rings on it like a tree. You got a cross section it. So right. we send it to the lab. They pro they 
basically fix it and then they take very thin, almost transparent slices, yeah. put those on the slide and fix the slide and then they look at it through the microscope. Right. And count. All right, here we go. We are back to bear camp. This is the main road that comes in. And uh, I couldn't show you this last night because we came in here too late, but these boys got it set up in here now. Yep. Let me take you around and show you a little bit. This is where uh, David stayed last night. Right here. Maybe Justin over there. I got the green tent, which is mine. I think somebody slept in the blazer. I don't know. My truck, here's the cook tent. Got the campfire going over there. Got the chicken of the woods over there. Well, let me clean that up. Try that. There we go. Little chicken of the woods. Yes, sir. These boys don't play around. Get on in here. All right, boys. What we got? We're eating mud cats and onions right here. All right. There it is. Cooking taters in there. Yes, sir. That's what you call camp cooking, boy. Yes, Praise sir. the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Got, they, 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 they got the stove in here going. Potatoes and onions, yeah. Yes, sir. That's where it's at. Chicken and a lot of fried potatoes. Yeah. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed that episode as much as I did making it. Just being in those mountains and just seeing the beauty that God created for us was just amazing in itself without the hunt. Um, and then, of course, the hunt with my friends that I made while I was there and having David there with me and just the camaraderie that we shared in camp. Even though the weather was absolutely dreadful, um, we made a time and memories that we will all never forget. And uh, that's what it's about, guys. You have to be still, get outside, go see what God's done for us, go see what he's made for us. Go see these lakes and ponds and rivers and streams and valleys and mountains and all this stuff. I mean, it's just so much out there and most of us just get so busy with life, we just don't really think about it. And I'm asking you guys, please be still and go see it. Um, this week's viewer segment, we have Keaton Crawley and Harrison Parham out of Augusta, Georgia. And Harrison is about to take his first deer. Y'all check these two boys out. I am so proud of them. Come on, Keita. Oh. 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 Oh.